as a young girl, I would just stare then at this water. I called it diamond water. It just resonated with me, and it, it just one of those things that I felt like I had to get onto a canvas or a, or a panel. My name is Elena Madden, and I am the owner of Elena Madden Studio Gallery in Isla Mirada, Florida. My parents were both artists. I grew up in an artistic family. I had an affinity for, for nature and, and painting. I went to the Savannah College of Art and Design. I married my, my SCAD sweetheart. We would come on vacation to the Lower Keys and we'd camp for a couple months and I would paint down here and I fell in love with the colors, the water. This is my third location and I love it because I'm right in the middle of the Arts District which is fantastic. Oh my goodness, it's, um, it's really the light is what inspires me. That's my main focus is light, energy, motion. And uh, the light here is unparalleled to any other light I've seen in all the other places I've lived, um, and the, which makes the color um, just amazing. This may sound crazy, but every piece starts with a red background and uh, build layer from there, um, transparent layers. And so that creates this glow and uh, underneath. And so that's similar to what I'm, I'm Im imitating life here, because you have that, that light from below and above. They're still evolving. I'm constantly learning about it and I love it. You don't want to overwork it. I, I never wanted to paint from photography because I, I assumed it would make uh, it stiff. So I, I don't use photography at all. Um, I want it to move. So I have to, I, so it's really from memory and it's fairly intuitive. So I started this series about 22 years ago. Um, I was actually still in South Carolina when I did and I lived on a body of water and I would just do thumbnails and just paint from memory over and over. I'd do small pieces and then I'd make them large. What happened was I found my own rhythm. So I'll gradually get lighter and lighter and lighter until I'm satisfied with the, the light. There's many facets of, the, of my reflective series. So um, I started with a pure, pure series, which is just a pure reflection of light and everything that was around it. And then I started with a horizon series that gave people a little bit of a point of where they are and it, it grounds them a little more. It's a little more traditional than, than the other. Then I did a, um, a still series uh, with the glasses um, and that's also reflective. And I, I really put away any type of, type of photography with that as well and just kind of go and, and they become more whimsical that way. And so painting something that moves and then something that's still is a nice balance to keep, keep it fresh and keep your hand and, and your mind um, bouncing between those two. The figurative series, it's a positive and negative study and it's, uh, as you can see, some reflection coming through the figure. Basically the concept is, you know, it's a very feminine uh, idea with uh, the, the moon, the tides, water, and how, the, how we're all connected. I want the viewer to feel what they feel. I had one, one person say um, that came in the gallery that it looked like bubbles of love and I thought that was fantastic. Funny, it, it was a, um, a piece that I actually painted for my husband and so I named it Amour because as, as I finished it, you know, she said it looks like bubbles of love and I said, well that's interesting that is for my husband for Valentine's Day, so it's one of my favorite pieces. I love painting on the wood panel. It is, there, I prefer birch. Uh, I love the grain. It's understated, but it, at the same time, it looks like, um, it, it looks like water ripples. So uh, it, it, it doesn't have any bounce when you're painting like you do with canvas. And the finished product, it appears wet, just like the subject. So it works really nicely for me. Really my goal, if I can, inspire people to see the world in a different way, um, bring a little joy. I mean, it's been a dark year for everybody. Um, if I could distract them with little beauty and, and maybe let them see all the beautiful things we have around us, um, that, that would be my goal. I feel like, you know, my job would be done if I brought a little joy.